All right, so today we are doing another open cut because I had some crazy success with my last one. And I don't even, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to replicate it. So that's what we're doing. The base coat's gonna be different. It's white. Look at all those bubbles. I know, it's terrible. Uh, but we're gonna work it out. We're doing kind of a flame inspired one though. Cause summertime's here, it's starting to get hot. So we're gonna make the artwork hot too. Orange, red, yellow, we got a little bit of black. The same mix is in these as it was in my previous one. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Uh, one to two drops of my silicone, which is the coconut oil hair serum from OGX. Uh, no silicone in the base coat. So I'm gonna slap this white base coat on there. Yes, I know, too much paint. Got it, y'all. I am following you, trust me, I know. But like I was letting you guys know in my last video, all the excess that goes onto this white mat right here gets turned into jewelry. If that's a video that you guys would like to see, let me know, because I'll make a video on how I make my jewelry and whatnot too. So for now, let's just get this base coat covering the entire canvas. And then we're gonna pop the bubbles, because that's that's not a need, that's that's or that's not a want, that's a that's a need that has to happen. Alright, so making sure we cover all four corners. The corner closest to me right now needs a little bit more. But how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic because, you know, love each day. Try to live each day like it's the last one and you're never going to be disappointed. I've been kind of trying my best to think positively in everything that I do. And to be honest, it's, it's kind of helped me out a lot changed my perspective on life a little bit. And now I just try to spread positivity. So you guys are all amazing. And I appreciate you guys each and every day. So I'm using these, these are just cookie cutters that I got from Amazon. What I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna put this here. Yep, I'm gonna fill it most of the way up, layering those colors. And then I'm going to let it escape and move the cup, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, give it a couple minutes, and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. You know what? I, I can't forget to do what I did with the last one if I actually want to replicate the same results, right? So for those of you that saw my last video, here, let me, let me get this paint off here real quick, and I'll explain it. Um, so I did take a little dot of my silicone. So I'll show you. Not much at all, not even a drop. And I put it around the inside ring of my cup last time. Actually, I need a little bit more because this cup is bigger. So now it's about a drop. All right, so if you can see that, there's oil around the entire inside. Set it down. Now we already have our base coat, so we don't have to worry about that silicone causing the paint to reject, right? What I do want to do is pop some of these air bubbles first before we really get started. Just some of them. All right. Because I don't want the air bubbles to interfere with the cell creation. So we're gonna start with this gorgeous red. If y'all have been following the channel for any length of time, you know that red is my thing. I absolutely love red. It's my jam. I'm doing thicker layers than I did in the previous video. There's so many fine air bubbles in this yellow though. So I'm gonna let the yellow churn through a little bit because I want to create some form of a, a gradient with it. And then we have our just plain old black. And like I always tell you guys, don't use too much black. It will take over. It will. I'm telling you it will. All right, and let's, let's top it off with a little bit of red. All right. 
Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take it, let some escape, and then move it around. Oh my goodness. Look at the crazy cells already. And I already know that if I hit this with a heat gun, it's going to do even more. Oh, whoa. Oh, goodness. Look at that. So that's crazy looking. Yeah, so all I did was I lifted this up and allowed that to escape. That's nuts. I don't know if I really want to add anything else to that. I'd be like, so hey, thanks for coming out to the video. It was great. Right? Short. <laughs> but I like that because I can do other things with this. Like I can gently blow on the edges to kind of feather them out a little bit and leave a bunch of negative space because there's not really that much paint on the canvas right now. That's what I'm going to do, actually. So let me kind of swipey do this edge here. Man, oh man, would you look at that? Well, I don't have a straw, so I'm thinking that my big old nugget's gonna be in the in the way, but let me try to blow some of this. Oh, I'm loving this. This looks so cool. It looks like a fish almost, which is nuts. Oh, there was a little splatter. I blew too hard. I don't really know how to be gentle with many things, but I'll learn. I, I absolutely love the way this looks. I almost don't want to touch it at all. There's really fine lacing. I feel like if I try to stretch any of it, it's just going to completely distort. And I love that feathering on the outside. Because there are some cells being created in there too. Let me uh, pop some of these air bubbles, but I don't know if I want to use the heat gun quite yet. I might use the heat gun. I might have to, but... Well, that's not doing any, anything. There it goes. All right. And there's... Yeah, so there's some bubbles in there. It definitely looks like fire, y'all, to me. But it also looks organic, almost like a fish. So I'm going to use the heat gun one last time. And we'll see what other reactions. Look at the black right there. Look at all those little tiny yellow cells. I love it when crazy contrasting colors pop up through the bottom. And I'm even making some cells in that feathering on the outside. Yes, sir. I'm in love. This is amazing. And it was so easy and simple, like anybody could do that. You just mix your paint up, you pour it in the little open cup, and I, I literally just moved it once and the cells did that. This is amazing. But I'm I'm just staring at it right now. But I'm gonna bring you guys down. We're all gonna check this out. Wow, I did not expect this video to be this fast, but I also didn't expect amazingness to come out of that open cup like that. So let me bring you all down. You can see all this really light feathering on the outside. And that's where I blew it kind of like how it was predominantly a red color so it, it wasn't a whole bunch of other colors to intermingle with that white but we got so many tiny little cells and this part right here is one of my favorite parts look at this look at the colors and the contrast in this thing it's 
freaking amazing. I'm blown away by this. What do you guys think? If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.